Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to Public Freakout Videos. Tonight on this episode, we take a look at some of the latest and greatest Karens who are caught on camera having public freakouts. Before we start, please consider liking this video and subscribing with notifications on. And up first tonight, we jump right into the middle of one of the craziest drive through freakouts that we have ever featured on this channel. An employee and customer are seen going at it head to head at the drive through window. They are filmed shouting into each other's faces and causing a massive scene. The employee eventually has enough and takes it to a whole nother level by throwing drinks and various other items at the customer. Let's play the clip and check it out. You so mad? When you gonna get an orgasm? Your man ain't brought your ain't gate your in a while. Is that why you mad? You ain't got no yet. He ain't your. Oh, are you? What well, my car? Is my car? Okay, but I'm so happy. Are you I'm serious? So happy. You're not even recorded I'm that, so right? Happy. I just recorded that. I just recorded, oh, man. Hey, my car though. But that's my car though. Hey, that's my car. 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 Are you serious right now? <laughs> this is crazy. Are you serious? My car though. Don't throw it on my car though. I'm calling the police. Don't throw it on my car though. And up next tonight, Karen notices that a group of young teens are using the playground at the park and runs over to talk to them. She begins to scold the young teens for using the playground equipment because she says that they are too old. The young teens argue back, telling her that they are still kids and believe that they are not doing anything wrong. Karen strongly disagrees and finds herself continuing to get frustrated, which only makes the situation worse. Let's take a look. With four children, and I asked the girls if they would not get on the equipment together because it would break it that there was an age limit for the equipment. And we haven't and broke I, it, but we've done this before. And I believe that it's 12 years old. And, and we, we're 11. We're but you're both on it together. Okay, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. So the weight limit is too strong and it's going to break. But it's not, it hasn't broken yet. We've been on the swing for, what, we, a month now? Ma'am, that's the, that's the true conversation. And then they became very disrespectful telling me I had no right to say anything. I said, I'm an adult here with four children. All I just we said was sure. we're 11, and then you said, you said we're not. Ma'am, 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 so that is what happened. And so I said, she said, I'll call my mother. I said, that is fine. I will explain to her. You're lying. And up next, two young men have just been chased down by the neighborhood Karen. She begins to lose her mind almost immediately when she accuses them of throwing rocks at her. The pair of young men are left confused as they deny doing any such thing. And as if the situation wasn't already bad enough, in a frustrated outburst, Karen is seen kicking their motorbikes. Let's play the clip and see how this whole situation came to be. How about that? What about this? Ugh. Oh yeah, we got it on film. That's just... the problem, right? Why would you kick my stuff? You didn't go kick your because car? it's in my way. Why did you throw a rock at us? I didn't. Jeez. First, why do you gotta get so pissy about it? Why you ran up on us screaming, swerving, and honking, and causing a deal, and ran up screaming on us. We didn't know what you were doing. Well, over, obviously, I need to talk to you. Could have said something when we drove by. And this next woman is caught attempting to shop at a store that currently has a mandatory mask policy in place. An employee notices that she is not wearing a mask and rushes over to remind her of their policies. Karen immediately flips it and starts to get loud, causing a massive public freakout. The employee tries his best to calm her down, but nothing seems to work. Karen's husband notices that her public freakout is being filmed and begins to assault the cameraman. Let's take a look. Pretty tough. Pretty tough. You're gonna see that me. Why don't you put your phone down? 
What's the problem? And up next tonight, a woman is at a quiet park minding her own business while she does her homework. She is later approached by two police officers who tell her that she cannot be at the park alone. He goes on to say that unless she has children who are with her at the park, she is not allowed to be there. This is obviously super confusing for the woman who is just trying to study, so she continues to question the officers about the situation, which in return sets them off. Let's take a look at this clip. In a park. I, want, I just want to know right, that. Ma'am, this is what's going on since where you can film what I'm saying to you. Yeah, because right? I just don't know Next I'm being harassed. Okay, hold on. No, you're not being harassed. Next I'm week, doing homework. There are going to be children present in this park. Okay. I cannot have you if you are a homeless individual or not. I'm not I homeless. Cannot, okay, and if you're not homeless, then don't worry about it. But the fact is, even if you are, are not homeless, you cannot be present in the park if you do not have children, if you have no business. It's a law. Do you understand that? So I'm okay. not harassing you. I'm letting you know that. So this way, next week, when those children are present, because if you had children, you would not. You're not harassing life. me, but you're getting closer and closer to okay. me. Isn't I'm there like a six feet rule? I moved so this way you can get me in frame. Because yeah, because I just don't understand I'm, that. I'm yeah, because I just know what's going on, and I don't appreciate and I, and it. I'm, I'm not doing anything and I, wrong. And I'm explaining it. Let's you know, I'm be attacked on the ground and you stuff. You continue to interrupt me as I am explaining. Okay, it. I won't be at the park next week, so okay, and there's then, no. And then that's and that's fine. But I'm saw, letting you we know. We walked around and told everybody, you're not singled out. We told okay. everybody well, that's in the park. I won't be here next week. I'll be going to school. So what's the problem? Can I just continue my study? Would I have known that? But after I told you, you still continue to explain. I just want to continue my study. I just go to Sunset Park. Follow me there if you want to do that. So that's crazy. You guys are ridiculous. If you were a parent and you had children, I'm not going to be at the park. It's not even that serious to me. I'm going to be at school myself. Then why are you working on being difficult? Because I know how the cops are towards well, African American no, people. Are, I do. Because I'm studying and I'm not doing anything and I, wrong. And, I am, and I'm being I, harassed I, for studying, though. No one is harassing I said I'm no going to be at the park harassed. next week. Okay, I'm going to continue to uh, do you my can study. You continue to study. You can yep. continue to film. That's but what I'm, I'm going to do. What's going on for okay. next week. Thank you for but, interrupting. But evidently, you decided, uh, I, I came over to talk to I don't you like regular, no. and that's then you crazy. decided that you were going to change the con uh, conduct. No, that's what you did, because you were rude. No. And up next tonight, we watch a woman get called out by multiple customers inside of a store for not wearing a mask in a store that currently requires one. She is quick to find herself in the center of a shouting match, making numerous threats and insults. After being questioned about why she is not wearing her mask, she goes on to say that she is vaccinated and claims that she does not need to wear one. Let's take a look at this clip. Karen alert. Yep. Exactly, you're the Karen. Yeah, that's right. I'm so sick and tired of people thinking they know better than the law. Blow, follow the law. The uh, so law. you are required to have a mask on. I heard you. Heard everybody say that. Been vaccinated. Talked to the person that vaccinated me. They said, we don't have to wear masks anymore. We need to make sure people know that. All throughout the city. Because... Well, why are you I'm arguing not, that? Just put a mask on. I'm not putting a mask on when I've been vaccinated. Do you not understand science? Okay. So just be aware that it is our company policy. Okay, well, I don't come here ever, and I certainly will never come here again. I just happen to drop my dogs off at the condo I'm remodeling, and I want to bring them some treats. I and up next, we watch as two neighbors go at it head to head. They are filmed loudly arguing in the middle of their normally quiet street. The woman alleges that the man was making inappropriate comments about her and attempts to put him in his place. The man does not back down though, and this leads to a massive shouting match. Let's play the clip and take a look. You think you I'm are? The owner you of are excused. You do not talk to me like that. I am the owner like of that property over there. You talk to there. me like a and respectable you're, you're a fifty-year-old adult woman. Hey, Who the hell do you think you are? I'm the guy that owns Get that out. property over there. I don't care who. Wait, where's your wife huh where's your wife my wife is currently working in, in turkey uh -huh. serving working. her freaking oh, retired. I'm retired. Retired. I'm retired. what do you do are you sensible what, what? Yeah, girly what that. you look like a girl keep that up girly what yeah up. threaten me again threaten me again any damage to me my family my property you just threaten me you just did it again you just said to keep it up and up next, Karen has just been refused service at a fast food drive through She begins to lash out at the employee before going on a frustrated rant about how they can't deny her service. The employee tells her that she is just following her store's policy, but this entitled woman just isn't having it. Let's play the clip and take a look. I have a medical reason because I cannot wear a face mask. Do you realize it is illegal to tell me you can't serve me? No, that's a, that is not the law. 
That is not possible. I need a number because I'm turning you guys in. Give me a number. Um, you can go on a time. No, you can write it down and give it to me while I'm here. I just sat in line for 30 minutes. If we want to, you can get off of here. No, I'm going to wait here. I'm going to wait here. Thank you. So they won't serve me because I medically cannot wear a mask? What is this? How is it my fault that I have a medical issue? Now they won't even... Like, what is that? And that is all we have time for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Public Freak Out Videos. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe with notifications on. With that being said, thank you again for watching and catch you in the next one.